happens if we do find out we have head and neck cancer? Obviously there are treatments available. Um, I know surgery, of course, is one of them, but Dr. Rabinowitz, let's also talk about some of the other treatments that might be available um, and, and how you help patients. Absolutely. So uh, treatment of the head and neck cancer is going to be extremely complex. You're really dealing with areas of like swallowing, your speech, uh, breathing areas. So it's extremely important that once you're diagnosed that you see a really a multidisciplinary team actually where they have not only the surgeon, but the medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist. And this is all part of your treatment uh, thought process about how to best approach the cancers. Okay, and you just mentioned that word. I, I've heard, you know, multidisciplinary. And, and again, you're talking about it's really a team effort. It's not just one person or one doctor. It really is a group approach to trying to help a patient through this. Absolutely, because the goal is not only curing the cancer, but optimize their quality of life, uh, decrease the toxicity from the treatment as well, so they can uh, really achieve the best of both worlds, no cancer and try to have like a long, healthy life uh, sure. with minimal side effects from the treatment. Absolutely. I know sometimes we talk in terms of a five-year survival plan when it comes to head and neck cancer. Can you just kind of explain what that means as far as looking at patient outcomes? So um, the five-year survival plan is, is mainly based on statistics. Okay. It really is that uh, the chance of being alive at five years is what we call the prognosis. Okay. And we consider someone in most head and neck cancers that's made it to the five-year mark to be, quote, cured. Okay. All right, we still do active surveillance on sure. these patients, however, um, because um, as stated in the video, you can develop second tumors or recurrences, you know, late in the game. But for the most part, statistics support that if you do not have cancer at five years, you are considered cured. So that's why we call it the five-year plan.